We expect to see the churches filled with people when we come to Ash Wednesday, people coming forward to receive ashes that marks the beginning of this Lenten period. We come, we come for the ashes because we know they are a sign of God's enduring mercy. And we come, we come recognizing that the loving forgiveness, the embrace of the compassion of God is always present to us. All we have to do is ask. As Pope Francis reminds us, we might get tired of asking for God's mercy and forgiveness, but God never gets tired of forgiving us. It's in this very specific salvific perspective that our churches are filled on Ash Wednesday and that you and I come. And we come for those ashes that signify to us our frailty and the sign of the cross that says to us, even in our frailty, even with all our faults, we're capable of something glorious. We're capable of being forgiven. We're capable of continuing our journey that someday we hope will bring us to the very glory of God. And so my brothers and sisters, we take, we take a certain humble pride in receiving those ashes. They say to you and to me, we don't always get it right. But they also say to you and to me, in the cross is our victory because of God's loving mercy for each one of us. It's an important time to think about the sacrifices that Christ had made and for us to be thankful and sort of think about what we need to do to, to be better in life. Ah, es importante porque nos dicen que nosotros tenemos que venimos de la tierra y que vamos para la tierra. Eso es la importancia, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, esa es la muestra de hacernos la señal en la cruz. Eso significa. I always find there what it means to me to receive the ashes. You know, it's a, it's a time of remembrance uh, for the Lenten season, uh, preparation, and it's uh, particularly, you know, taking time out of a, an otherwise uh, regular work day to remember what it's all about. important to me to get ashes today because I've been kind of wandering in my faith a little bit and I wanted to start Lent off with a bang and be a uh, representative of the Catholic faith. <laughs>